see that beauty right there? That's my dream truck. Uh-oh, it does not currently move under its own power. The engine runs fine, but on my trip, getting it from Southern California to Northern California, as I was driving up the grapevine, the transmission decided to blow up. I was about 10 miles past Castaic, 15 miles before Gorman, right around in that area, here and feel a big old smack, and the truck died. So I coasted my truck off the freeway, thankfully I find the Whitaker salt shed. I was able to keep my truck off the road, but it was blown up, transmission was no good. Uh, I ended up getting the truck going, engine's fine, but that Get Rag 360 that comes in this thing, no good. Now this is back in May, end of May. I had just finished up college and I'm driving back home, moving back from Southern California to Northern California, and that happens. I decide that I am not going to attempt to rebuild or replace the existing transmission with the same thing, but I'm going to switch it over to the second gen transmission, the NV4500. And that was a great decision. The problem with that decision, with COVID and manufacturing delays and all the other issues in the world, it took about four months between when I ordered my transmission and when I finally got all the components like the bell housing and whatnot. So here we are about ready to get this thing back on the road with a new transmission, well, a rebuilt transmission, NV4500, like I said, comes in the second gen, not these first gens. But yeah, we're about to make it happen. At this point, I have the old G360 out of the truck and sent back so that I could get my core deposit. And like I said, I have the new NV4500 bell housing and other components to hook it up. But before I can replace the transmission, I figured while I'm under the truck, I might as well do a couple a couple of other little things. So I inspected the clutch and flywheel. We're looking really good. It was obviously replaced not long before I bought this thing. But I'm going to do the rear main seal because I know this engine leaks like a sieve and I'm already down here. So we're gonna get that rear main in right now. This is the biggest damn rear main seal I have ever seen. When your impact breaks the freaking driver. Got the flywheel out. That thing is heavy. I knew this engine leaked, but yeah, the rear main seal definitely needs to be replaced. Hell yeah. Flywheel time. Okay, flywheel and clutch are back in. There's the advanced adapters, bell housing. Four months later, we have her. Again, this is for a NV4500 or the second gen training in the first gen body. There's the training with the bell housing on. Oh, that is so sweet. Woo. What the hell are you doing under there? <laughs> I am getting this damn transmission in. So we got the NV4500 and that new adapter bell housing all bolted into the, well, kind of bolted into the block. We're doing a little test fit because here's our cross member, which did not come with this truck. We're trying to get this into place to bolt the NV4500. Uh, this is a great start. We're gonna get this drawn, drill our holes in our frames, sound safe, bolts our cross member up, and uh, do it all again. We're back under the truck. Well, not under it right now, but we will be shortly. We're gonna put this new clutch fork from Advanced Adapters in the pilot bushing, the throttle bearing, and the slave cylinder. Get that all into place when we get the training up into place. And then we're gonna start working on mounting uh, the back of the training. That's a damn transmission. That's my dad. <laughs> <laughs> we're finally getting it in there. So it's been a little bit since I've given a proper update. A lot of work has been done. It's not going yet, but uh, we do have the transmission in place, finally. We've been working on that a lot of different nights, uh, just without success, could not get everything to line up perfectly with that pilot bushing 
and just everything just could not get it to line up and go all the way seated into the back of the block but we finally got it into place so that step is done on to the next one which brings up our next issue which is the cross member we have a four-wheel drive cross member for the transmission but the problem is we don't have the brackets that hook to the upper frame rail we can only hook that cross member to the bottom frame rail so we have to make our own brackets no problem just time and then after that we throw on our transfer case because we are adding a transfer case at this moment oh yeah another thing that we've done in the meantime is getting that transfer case ready to install so we replace the input shaft seal on the transfer case as well as the gasket that holds that housing together just got to get the cross member on first by the way with that cross member we did tear it apart removed all the old bushings and replaced them with fresh ones and gave it a nice black paint job just to keep it from rusting. So behind me is the Ford that helped bring my truck home. There's my truck. We're gonna move it forward so that we're off the dirt and onto some pavement. Uh, it's been raining a lot and I'm tired of working in the mud. So, forward we go. Here's the back of the tranny. Air those brackets, arms that I uh, bent up and welded in. Okay, now that our welds are done, it is time to get this beast of a transfer case underneath that truck. And just a reminder that we're not actually doing four wheel drive yet, we're just getting the transfer case in there so that it's ready when we swap out the front axle. So, the bar is set to two wheel high and if I spin the input shaft in here, you can see the rear output spins and the front output stationary. Transfer case is in. It turns out it's actually really difficult to do this on your own. So we got it done today. Oil is added to both the gearbox. See it overflowed. And the transfer case. So as you see, this is the old hole for that G360 where the shifter came through. And here's about where we want our new hole to be for the NV4500 shifter. We're gonna start with this hole saw, poke a hole through it, maybe trim back the edges, see what it looks like. In case you're wondering, this is our gear vendor wires. Gonna clean that up. There's our new hole. Been waiting for this for like six months. my little bitty drive shaft. Finally getting this truck running has been such a journey, but it's been so rewarding. I mean, this is my dream vehicle, and now I get to drive it every day. With the second gen transmission, I just can't believe it. It is so cool. And I have a million more things that I want to do to this truck, but for now I'm gonna enjoy it for a little bit. So if you like this video, uh, please support us by continuing to watch our content. We will have a lot of projects for this truck in the future. Uh, yeah.
Thanks again for watching if you made it this far and we will see you on the next one.